Indeed. Now, we're looking at the perfect beers to pair with your favourite meals if you're looking to avoid wine tonight. Joining us with her top of picks is beer sommelier Fiona Smith. What? How did you get that job? <laughs> is that I worked really job? hard for that. that seven years in college. You uh, call that I, work? I decided to go to university and then I thought, what, what do I love doing? <laughs> Follow my dream. <laughs> Follow, Follow my, my dream passion. and I made a, I made a job out of my hobby. So today I'm going to take you guys through some three really beautiful beers and uh, sun shining out there, so oh, time for outside Lovely. eating, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, some really wonderful beers to taste and I'm going to talk you through how, why they match with these different foods. Okay. Okay. So we're Starting going to kick off. Heineken, yeah. yeah, to kick off with Heineken 00, so, so it's this not is just ordinary Heineken. a new yeah. departure. Absolutely. You're getting to taste as well. I am. I'm so 00, zero as in zero, alcohol zero, free? as in no alcohol. Alcohol free. And uh, for me, this is one of the loveliest tasting alcohol free lagers. Uh, so, what we first of all do, we just stick your nose in before you have a sip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We've already drunk. The sorry, time Jana. Are finished. I have to, I have to tell <laughs> you on these steps of tasting. Yeah, so uh -huh. stick your nose in. Yeah. And you've got a lovely, fresh mm, aroma, nice yeah? Sweet. It smells of yeah. almost spring, summer, really lovely floral aromas, a little bit of citrus. And uh, yeah, a little bit of hint of banana, even. Are you getting mm -hmm. that? Bit of sweetness. So, let's have a little sip. <laughs> Just pretend you have it. It doesn't matter. It's no, no alcohol. It's four now. So uh, one of the great things about this one is if you don't, it actually tastes very like beer, but it yeah. actually has no alcohol in it. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. if someone gave me that I as a glass a of Heineken, yeah. I wouldn't say yeah. there's no alcohol in no, this. Yeah. As you say, like I've tasted a fair few of the no alcohol options. It's yeah. pretty, yeah. pretty decent. So it's we're really going to try really it with. Tasting. What does so it go with? Well, we have here some of your wonderful black pudding. Oh. With a mm -hmm. slice of your Irish cheddar cheese Thank and you. then some carob, it's actually pickle pear. Yeah, cool. um, yeah. So there's sort of sweet uh, flavours going on here. So we have really nice multi sweetness in the beer, and that's going to match with the multi sweetness here in the sweetness of the pear. I know they're, they're rather large, sorry about that, guys. Um, and then you've got also the slight citrus notes in the beer, they're going to cut through mm. the cheese. Mm. Yeah? Holy good morning. That really all works beautifully. Should work. What? Really well. What time can you be here <laughs> next week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I yeah, could be here the same time. Mm. Does oh. it work? All works very nicely. Yeah. And it works beautifully. Really beer. nice contrast yeah. of flavours, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, if you want to get these beers from home, uh, at home, you, these are available in carryout. Um, carryout.ie for the store. So, stores. we're on to Tiger now next for the next one. Next one, Tiger. OK, so one we are... One of my favourites, I have to be honest. Is it? Yep. Tiger? Yeah, I love Tiger. We're yeah. going across to Asia. This beer was brewed from 1932 in Singapore. It's now brewed yeah. um, over here in Ireland, in Cork, <clears throat> um, bottled in Ireland, but uh, it dates back to 1932. And if you put your nose in that before you actually have any to drink... That is the real thing, in fairness. Yeah. You'll get really exotic kind of soft fruits mm. for me. And why do certain beers like Tiger and beers of that variety work with, with Asian food or, say, if you order well, curry or...? Well, obviously, this was, this was created in oh, Singapore, it's so it's going to go with the uh, foods from the region. That's yeah. why they brewed it, to taste like this. And uh, so it doesn't overpower things like, you know, lemongrass or ginger or coriander, all those lovely flavours It's a flavors balance with get. the spices, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. All those lovely flavours that you get in Thai food, it's not going to detract wow. from those, and that's why I they've created a beer like this. I think people would be really surprised to hear that Tiger beer is uh, brewed in Ireland as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are we trying with, with this now, Fiona? So this is Pad Thai. OK, oh, So lovely. we've got mm. some lovely, a lovely traditional Thai mm. dish, which is a um, signature dish from sort of Malaysia area. There's a real zing of flavour in that. Yeah, so there should be ginger, there's some soy, mm. there's some lemongrass, some coriander. It goes beautifully with the tiger really beer. Really mm. with the tiger beer, yeah. So Lovely. another great oh, alfresco dining. Great to go to work nice with. <laughs> <laughs> really? we have, I've had worse days. What do we have? Chocolate. Well, the well, there's a chocolate there, yeah. I had a root, root canal on Thursday. This is a much better day. Please don't go back to the root canal. <laughs> I was going to say, actually, if anybody's got any beers at home and you want to join in, then yeah, go yeah. to the fridge. Yeah. Any beer will do. Uh, help, Finally, so, I've seen this in taps mm. around uh, around town. It's popping up. It's become quite popular. Cute tour. Yeah, cute <clears> tour. You've got the barbecue option for this one. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got. So we're into um, we're into sort of a darker. Beer here, I'll pass these down. So I've never tried this. This is a new one now. I mean, new one. So these first two are lagers, and this one is an ale. So ah. it's going for the crafty end of the market. Yeah, kind of that end of the market. And uh, so we're into real beer enthusiasts oh, yeah. sort of arena here. And uh, effectively, we are into uh, more hops. You so mm, you're going to that's the hops you're getting there, isn't it? On the that? nose, you're going to get more hops. And there's three different hops actually in this beer. It's so, so different. And it's an mm. ale. So it's going to be a lot deeper, this like medium body, mm. yeah. Uh, so there's lovely sort of we 
holding it with a barbecue, which is sort of smoky, um, sort of tomato flavours barbecue. But the darkness in the beer just denotes to me this is going to be sweeter. Very good. Because the barley, so people don't th know what actually beer is made of. It's a real surprise to me that people don't know what beer is made of. But it's actually made of this. Uh, is well, that on camera good. there? Um, so these are barley uh, grains. So barley is a cereal. Mm -hmm. So people kind of don't know what beer, they like the taste of beer, but they can't mm. describe it. Yeah. So I say that beer is a cereal. <clears throat> so you think about what you had for breakfast this morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, toast even, that's the sort of flavours that you're getting. And when you uh, roast, so basically you have to steep barley in water before yeah, yeah. you can use it for brewing yes. yeah. and stop the process. Is the barley content higher in that cute No, or? it's just been no. roasted for longer and okay. so it's slightly darker. Yeah. Stronger, Tell me, how was, how was that with the chicken? Excellent. Yeah. Is it yeah. good? Yeah, it's because uh, it's, it's quite a spicy barbecue. Yeah, yeah. So it should yeah. calm. It just down. Should calm it down. So yeah. Great, Sophia. Um, if you are like Fiona, joining in with at home, do drink responsibly. Yes. <laughs>